So today the solunar looks excellent. We have a new moon. I have some excellent bait as well. So I know we're gonna find some fish. Let's see what's biting. Fishing this jawbreaker jig. And I got it up to a barrel swivel with a stinger hook off to the side. Gives you an extra bait to put in the water. Never tried it before, but it's worth a go. We're off kilter, just a little off kilter. We're going fishing. Let's go. Oh, nice sheep. Plenty of them down there. They are chewing. On the stinger. Fourteen and a quarter, and that's a beautiful fish to eat right there. Yeah, we'll keep that one. on the stinger hook. That second hook is nice to have. He ate both of them. Whew. That two ought right in the corner of the mouth. Look at that little hook. Inches. All right. Beautiful fish. Got that one on a half of a mud crab. Tried urchins, they didn't really work, but uh, we're not gonna give up on them either. Let's keep fishing. All right guys, so here's my theory. The longer I fish this spot, the more bait I put in the water and the more fish are attracted here. So the longer I fish it, the better it's gonna be. I also believe that sheep's head are a curious fish, so if they see or believe that other fish are feeding, they're gonna come in and, and see what's going on. Uh, they're not gonna be scared away. So there's no real reason to move to a bunch of different spots. Um, if you get a bite going, kind of hold on to that spot and until they stop biting. So again, that's my theory.
black turn on. And on the stinger hook. That is a good eating black drum right there. Yes, sir. A pretty little sheep. And this one bit on the jawbreaker. Guys, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm starting to like this rig. It's nice when your sinker is a hook and there's less tackle. I mean, really simple rig to tie. Let's take a look at this guy. He's 24 and I kept a 25 incher last week and it was beautiful meat. I'm gonna bleed this guy out. We're gonna keep him. So it started to rain. I'm gonna get up underneath this bridge. The current is kind of moving at this angle. So it should be a good spot. Let's see. Plenty of room in, under here. Breaker. Wow. That didn't take long. Guess the fish don't like the rain either. He is green. Calm down. rig is really simple to tie just tie your jig this is my jawbreaker and 
whatever hook you're going to use. Fold your line in half. Go up to your barrel swivel. And just tie an overhand knot. I do like to get this as close as possible to the swivel. There it is. I like using a two hook bottom rig when I'm fishing for sheep's head or black drum. It's gonna give you more options as far as putting a hook in that fish's mouth. There's just more bait on the bottom, which helps attract that fish um, to your rig as well. So anyway, give it a try and let me know what you think. This incoming tide's just about done and I have enough fish to clean. So I'm gonna call it for today. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. We're off kilter, just a little off kilter. We're going fishing. Let's go.